the San Diego Padres just traded for Josh Bell and Juan Soto. This team already got Josh Hader yesterday. They're getting Tatis back. They've got actually a really good starting rotation. I made a couple of Padres videos in the offseason, and I just could not stop thinking about how good this team is going to be. And now, dude, I'm not going to say they're the favorites, but I, I don't know how they couldn't be. But, like, they didn't even give up much either, dude. Like, remember, Josh Bell is an all-star type of first baseman. You, you're looking at insane power from switch, – is he a switch hitter too? Juan Soto, you don't need me to tell you anything about him. Sure, his average is down, his numbers are down, but I mean, he's an on base machine and he's going to be hitting next to Tatis, Josh Bell, of course, and Manny Machado, dude, Eric Hosmer. Uh, so, like, they're giving up Mackenzie Gore, Robert Hassel III, CJ Abrams, James Wood, Jarlin, Susanna, and one more major league player. Now, obviously, if you're a Padres fan, you probably know all those guys. If you're like me and you just like baseball and stuff, and you don't really know who those prospects are. Like, but like at the end of the day, I don't really care what prospects I'm giving up. You're, I'm getting Juan Soto and Josh Bell. The question is, will, will Juan Soto remain in San Diego? I don't know, honestly. I could see the Padres like winning the World Series and then he just goes somewhere else and maybe they don't pay him. But at the same time, maybe the Padres do somehow pair him with Machado and Tatis for the future. But I, I love getting Josh Bell. Like I didn't even know they were getting Josh Bell until um, Jeff Passon just tweeted this out. But – like, let's go and look at the Padres' current team, dude. So let's go to Padres' depth chart. I mean, this team is just loaded. Actually, before we do that, oh, if you guys want to subscribe, dude, I'd appreciate you if you drop a like. I'll get out to more Padres fans, MLB fans. But let's go to MLB standings. And the Padres, I, they're obviously in the playoff final. They wouldn't be doing all these moves. But, yeah, the Padres are 58 and 46. They're 12 games behind the Dodgers, sure. But they definitely have the wild card spot. Or is it the Braves? I guess maybe they have the second one. Yeah, because the Braves are right behind the Mets. So I guess they have the second wild card spot. But like, even though the Dodgers are 12 games ahead, dude, like, I definitely like the Padres roster more right now because the Dodgers haven't really done anything so so far. And you know they wanted Juan Soto and they fell short. But let's just currently take a look at this team, dude. I mean, it's just absolutely loaded, lethal. Uh, okay, let me share my screen with you guys. Share screen. And let's go to this right here. So let me just adjust my face. Do that? Okay. Am I lagging? Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so Joe Musgrove, who, of course, is one of the best pitchers in baseball. Dude, he's fantastic. You Darvish, Sean Minaya. I'm not exactly sure how Blake Snell's doing because he had a bounce back season. Where are his numbers at? Uh, not really a 443 ERA. But I mean, Nathan Avaldi has around the same ERA. But like also, he got lit up in two starts and then was great the rest of them. So like, it's not a really good example. But Blake Snell, dude, is, man, I hopefully he can get it going. But like, Mike Clevenger, I know, has been pitching better of late. He's got a 3.13 ERA. Start was good at. Is, yeah, is, uh, can we look at his – okay, so I'm trying to look at his recent starts. I don't know how to check that. but And then, of course, you've got like Joe Musgrove, who's – again, I said he's one of the best pitchers, 2.65 ERA, eight and four record. And, yeah, I mean, he's got 114 strikeouts to just 27 walks, dude. But the biggest thing, like it's not even their pitching. Like their pitching is definitely good enough. But they got Josh Hader, right? He's the closer now. And the bullpen, like, Nick Martinez is pretty good, dude. Uh, I know, like, Craig Stam uh, Stammen's injured, and then they've got Garcia and um, Morjan. They've got a pretty good bullpen. Josh Hader makes it, like, significantly better to have a lights-out closer. I know Hader hasn't been the best himself. He's got a 4.24 ERA, but, like, even – I don't care less what Hader 12 ERA in July. Like, I'm not trying to face Josh Hader ever with his stuff. And, I mean, now, like, this isn't updated, but – I mean, you're looking at already like, you know, Eric Hosmer, dude. Luke Voigt is uh, – he's I think he's been – D or yeah, he's been DH. He says DH right there. Duh. So, yeah, they've got him. They've got Jake Crowenworth, who is fantastic. He's an all-star. Uh, they, they did trade – did they trade C.J. Abrams? They kept Abrams? Oh, he's in the trade. Okay, yeah. I was going to say C.J. Abrams, dude. Imagine if they kept him without getting Soto and Bell. That would have been broken. But I like this kid a lot, dude. He's going to be a stud. I know he's like hitting 232, but he's, he's 21 years old. He's a prospect for a reason. And then, of course, dude, like, just look at their team, bro. Manny Machado, like, you don't even see Tatis because he's injured. Like, Tatis is going to be in there. And then, you know, Profar, dude, is I think he's hit a home run in three straight games. Dude, Profar is a freaking stud, dude. Oh, my goodness. This guy can hit, dude. If you haven't really seen him play this season, you should. And then um, outside of that, dude, like, you've got, you know, Trek Grissom, 
is actually he's struggling this season, but like he's always been a good player. He was good last season, I want to say. What were his numbers last season? Why can I not check that ESPN? Like, yeah, but last season he was pretty good. And then of course, like you know, Will Myers, dude, is um he, he just came back, I want to say, like recently from an injury. And he's solid, dude. They've got a lot of solid players, but I mean, you add in Josh Bell, dude, like you know, Eric Cosmer on the season has actually been pretty solid. And, like, you just add in Josh Bell. I don't know how they're going to work this. Like, does, does Hosmer – like, that's the thing, dude. I wish I knew more about the Padres, dude. Like, what are their plans with with um Soto and with Bell? So, like, would Will Myers be the odd man out? He has to be, right? You're not moving pro far. Like, so I guess Juan Soto is going to play right field, and then they're going to go pro far and left. Grissom is still going to be in center. And then DH-wise, how's Luke Boyd doing? Not great. Uh, yeah, so maybe they'll DH Bell because Hosmer's a pretty good defender, right? He's all, I don't is Bell. I'm not. I know Bell is a switch hitter. I don't know if he's a right or a lefty fielder. Hosmer obviously is a. Oh, it would tell me, but it's, he's not on the official depth chart yet because they've got to update it. But I just I love the Padres because like their pitching is good enough. Like that's a great rotation. Like Musgrove, Darvish, Manaya, Snell, and Clevenger. That's a great playoff rotation. The bullpen you have an elite closer and Hater. You've got a guy like uh, Luis Garcia, dude, who's good, 3.18 ERA. Nick Martinez, dude, with his 3.55 ERA. I'm not saying they're like lights out relievers, but I mean, these guys, uh, you yeah, know, there's their, is that, he's a lefty, right? Yeah, there's their lefty right there, and the haters a lefty. And that was Steven Wilson, 4.06. Not the greatest, but like definitely gets the job done. Um, and then for their catchers, they've got Austin Noah. They've also got Jorge Alfaro. I don't even honestly not sure exactly where this guy came from, but like he kind of just got hot out of nowhere, dude. Like he was a huge, huge fantasy pickup, dude, because of his catching ability. But he also hits like 273, seven home runs for a catcher in his last seven days, dude. He has just you know three hits and 11 at bats isn't actually as bad as you might think. And he does have a home run, a home run in your last 11 at bats, dude. You'll definitely take that. So like he, he was just good for them, but like, the biggest thing for this team is going to be Manny Machado, dude. He's hitting 293 with 18 home runs, 57 RBIs. He has an 875 OPS. We know what he brings with his glove, and he's just a swagger. I mean, I'm a Red Sox fan. You know, we're not really supposed to like Manny Machado, but I've, I've actually, like, secretly always loved – not, like, loved Manny Machado, especially when he was in Baltimore. This this dude can flat-out play, MVP candidate. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know a lot about the Padres, dude, so I kind of apologize for that. But I'm more making this just because, you know, this team looks scary, bro. This team looks so good. I, I almost made a Padres channel at the beginning of the year because, but I just started posting that on my on my Chargers channel. But, dude, like I you I don't know. I can't just make a Padres channel now. That's so bandwagon. But like, I mean, dude, I'm definitely rooting for this team. I, I like the Mets. I like the Dodgers as well. But like, dude, how awesome would it see would it, would it be to see you know Juan Soto, Manny Machado, and Fernando Tatis go out there and win a World Series, man. But if you guys did enjoy the video, do feel free to join uh, the channel by subscribing and um, drop a like to get out to more fans. And I will see you in the next one, dude. This is so cool. It broke when I was on a stream with um Serio and Will, too, dude. It broke when I was on a stream, but, like, it wasn't a baseball stream. So I was like, you know, when this ends, bro, I'm going to make a video. Oh, my goodness, bro. Let's go. Dodgers fans are punching the air right now. You